Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today I'll be viewing this flash shoot FL-30. It's RGB video light. Here's the QR code from Amazon. And inside the packaging, let me first show the user guide here. It's pretty small text. If you want to read any part in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. And this part is probably a bit more important. It's this part down here. I'll show that off shortly too. It also came with a short micro USB type C. A shoe adapter for cameras, camera mounts, L brackets. And here's the actual item. There are two quarter inch threads, one on the bottom and one on this side here. The diffuser, this can be removed. It's just a silicone cover. So here, I'm just pull this out. Here's the actual item. It's really not that thick. The diffuser just makes it seem a little bit thicker than it actually is. Here is a charging port. Then plus minus settings page and power or menu button. The LED is behind here. Uh, to turn it on, just press and hold the power button for about three seconds. Oop. Sorry. Last was a. Let me change it to something. Let me change it back to here. RGB. I mean, also, currently at RGB, it's already at 184, but I can adjust each of them separately. I got this primarily for the different scenes. So here's lightning one. Different type of lightning. Different strobe. Cinema. And for each of them, I can always decrease or increase the brightness. There's police. Next, we have the ambulance. Here, fire truck. That's the fast RGB. slower and just cycling through the colors much slower SOS and finally candlelight we got CCT selections here here's the color temperature the HS size the light in the room right now is coming from outside and the sun is pretty much setting. It's late in the afternoon. All the other lights in the room, it's been turned off. And I just want to show the scenes again here. Here's RGB. Also, like I mentioned that the diffuser is on. So currently this is lightning one. This is lightning two. Here's a cinema. Police. Ambulance, the fire truck, the fast RGB, here's the slower RGB, SOS, and here's candlelight. This is the CCT, I can change, it. currently it's at 31 brightness, but I can change that to make it warmer. So now it's at 28. 100 kelvins. This is the lowest. I'm going to set it to the highest. Here it's at 8500 kelvin. The battery life is roughly two hours. If I use it at the brightest setting, I can get less than two hours, but I don't do quite do that. It's somewhere between 50% to 100%. And I get two hours easy. Charging it is great using the standard micro USB C cable. It did not come with a wall adapter. I shoot mostly video, so that's why I wanted one that had the preset lighting scenes. I might just get a second one of this. Even for those doing photography or interviews, this will work out great too. Uh, prior to the lockdown, I did a lot of video shooting too for interviews. And rather than bring my LED light panel that's about yay big, I just bring this. It's already got a diffuser, everything built into it. It's already got a two hour battery life. Most of my interviews less than, last less than 30 minutes. This will be great for it too. 
Traveling with this is also very easy because it's so pocketable. Just put it in my backpack. Overall, I like this and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.